I'm going to show you how I use uh, this audio board, uh, which is ISD 1820. It's a $2 item, even for less. Uh, I bought it as a speaker. I would strongly recommend that you uh, spend the extra, I think it was like 30 cents, uh, and get the speaker. It came uh, with the wire, but it was not soldered. Uh, I figured out I better use the correct polarity. So under a uh, magnifier, I find out that the so on the speaker on your left or my right, uh, where the red wire is, I'm going to hold it like this so you can see it, is plus, and where the black wire is, which is the opposite side, uh, that's where the negative goes. So uh, that's what I did. Uh, this board will work without Arduino or with Arduino or other devices. I'm going to show you um, what I know about it. You hook up uh, 5 volts, plus 5 volts, to the VCC, which is the very first pin uh, right here on the top. And then underneath that, the second pin, it says G and D, which is ground. So that's where the ground goes. That's it. I'm going to show you shortly here. I'm powering it through Arduino, which has 5 volts, so I don't have to worry about burning it up. Um, if you're not sure, uh, uh, just make sure that you put a little bit of resistor. If you use uh, uh, three batteries, that's going to be uh, four and a half volts. It should work. If you use four batteries, it's going to give you 6 volts. Uh, and so I would put like a 200 ohm resistor uh, just to be on the safe side, but it should work just fine. I don't think this thing burns up uh, if you give it an extra volt. But 5 volts is what I'm using. Uh, just quickly, leave the jumpers where they are if you get the same board as I have. And then there are three buttons. The button can record, which is red, will record as long as you hold it or uh, up to 10 seconds. If you let go after three seconds, of course, it records three seconds, so on and so forth. Microphone is right in here. The second button is play. And this will, if you push it once, let go, it will play whatever you record it, and it will automatically stop at the end. It's not going to waste, let's say you recorded three seconds, it's not going to play ten seconds. It's going to automatically stop at the three seconds, whatever the end signal. There is a signal when you stop holding the button. Uh, that's written and then it tells it to stop playing. Okay. Now um, I'm going to show you how I hooked up to Arduino and it's pretty simple uh, There are other pins in here and if you look on the very bottom right here uh, And I'm talking about the row that's on on towards the edge. Okay, don't uh, let's not worry about the second row Which is towards the chip. Okay, so these pins I'm going to be talking about the, the pins that are towards the edge the very bottom pin, uh, it says on it, uh, REC, and I think you can probably see it right there. And REC uh, is going to be a pin on the Arduino side, on a digital, on pin number 11. And then the very next to it, it says uh, P-E, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, P-E, which is the second pin from bottom up. And that goes to pin number 13 on Arduino. And I'm going to put in here, uh, um, a shortcut to the website where you can download the uh, the sketch for the Arduino if you're going to use the Arduino. Uh, so let me show you what I did. I'm not very organized in here, so I apologize. Okay, I uh, took the speaker and I put a little uh, vinyl, a little plastic thing around it, uh, and then I shoved it into this little cup, and that way it's going to make the speaker much louder than it really is. You don't want to put just the speaker in because, as, as you know, the speaker will vibrate and it's going to give you this buzzing sound. So you probably don't want to do that. So here is the connection, what, uh, what I was telling you about earlier. So the very first pin is brown, which goes to the REC. The second pin is the red one, which is PE. And on the Arduino, I have four wires. The red one is on a 5 volts, and then a white one is on a ground. And so right here, red one is a plus, and the white one is the negative. Uh, and so VCC is the plus 5 volts, okay? And then over here, on the other side, where it says digital PWG, power of modulation, PWN, I'm sorry, uh, M, um, there are pins, they have numbers. Uh, and the one you want to use is the brown one goes to the uh, REC and it goes to the pin number 11 on this side and then uh, skip a pin put the red one in my case to pin number 13 and that is the P-E dash which is the play uh, option and that's it and then just download the sketch 
uh, from the website uh, and you can even use the one I modified because I did not like that the uh, that it kept uh, recording paused and then it played and it paused and then it started recording again and it was an endless loop so you'll see what I did in the sketches I actually uh, put a little um, uh, I, I double slash which means um, I remarked it out so it's not going to get executed and that's all it's pretty simple you have fun with this board it's cheap and it's a lot of fun and you can even make some nice uh, gifts to people make a nice little box if you have a 3d printer you know put it somewhere underneath or move the button somewhere put a nice big button on it and have some crazy idea and post it on the internet uh, just like I'm doing now have a great day bye bye